These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. When it comes to talking about who black people were and still is, the B system suddenly have a bad case of amnesia. Regardless of how people in this generation feels about black history, it does not change facts. Everyone's history can be told except black history before slavery. The B system wants to keep black people operating on low vibrations to maintain control over them, in addition to keep their stolen identity. The serpent seed has assumed the identity of the indigenous people all over the world. In every nation, the people that are parade as the indigenous people in the media are white people. The Bible was whitewashed in the process of the heathens stealing the identity of the indigenous black people. The word of the Most High said not to tamper with the scriptures. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Most of the characters in the Bible had plastic surgery done to alter their appearance. The procedure the beast system done to the ancient people, a facelift. The new face is far from its original. The kingdom of darkness made sure to assume the identity of every bloodline to include his seed into a dark population made in the image of the Most High. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Normally, the invader would genocide the original inhabitants in the territory they conquer, set up their kingdom, and start a new bloodline to populate the new established civilization. What the kingdom of darkness did via the serpent seed, the invaders conquered the indigenous people. Instead of creating a bloodline of their own, they took the indigenous people identity and claim it for themselves. By doing this, they assume the identity of the original indigenous people all over the world. There is one group of people constantly going under plastic surgery to imitate another group of people. The black woman is the most imitated and duplicated by non-indigenous women. Imitation is not the highest form of flattery. The serpent seed imitate to take the identity and accomplishment of the person they want to be. For example, Satan imitate everything the Most High does. By imitating the Most High is how Satan built the army that he has. Satan became the god of this world by assuming the identity of the Most High in religion. The way Satan exalted himself above the Most High was when he became God in the flesh. Many people are serving Satan when they worship and glorify the Messiah that came in his own name. I am come in my Father's name and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. By becoming God in the flesh, Satan stole the identity of the Most High. Satan said in his heart that he would ascend into heaven and exalt his throne above the stars of God. Satan said he would sit upon the mount of the congregation. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. 
I will be like the Most High. Nobody talks about the Father in religion. Matter of fact, religion declares the laws of the Most High are done away with. Everyone in religion worship, praise, and pray to the Messiah that came in his own name. Seems to me Satan is sitting in the mount of the congregation. Satan's seat is in the Vatican City, the head leaders of the synagogue of Satan. You will not find the Most High in religion. Remember, the Most High would not share his glory with anyone, nor would he give his praise to a graven image. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. There is a graven image that has been circulating for centuries, depicting the image of the so-called Messiah, God in the flesh. That image is the image of the beast. This image is ingrained in the minds of the indigenous people and the heathens who worship the image of the beast in the beast system. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Just as Satan has taken the identity of the Most High in the beast system, his seed has done the same to the indigenous black people. Israelites, imitation is not the highest form of flattery, it is the worst. Living in a system that dominates you, the people in power can take your image and become you. Your history before slavery has been erased. Therefore, in 2021, during so-called Black History Month, you are now learning your history. Do not become proud when the serpent seed imitates you. You should be upset and put them in their place every time they pull a stunt like that. Egypt became white because a lot of indigenous people are passive about their history and culture. Instead of taking control of their image, black people let their enemies tell their story. By doing this, every nation in this world is whitewashed. Israelites, they copy you to destroy you. How many non-black people in the recent years has taken on the culture of the indigenous people for profit and power? When the Transformers turn out to be mixed race or full-blooded tear, black people become upset. Take control of your culture. Israelites, it is important for you to understand before the slave trade, the people dwelling in North, South, Central America, and all over the world are so-called indigenous black people. The mixed race people the media present to the world of the indigenous people living in the colonized nations are not the original indigenous people. Remember, the Most High's creation is a dark hue people. To those who rely on the beast system for wisdom, science confirmed the original people are a dark hue people. How many of you remember the story of the Christian men trying to convert a group of uncontacted people into idolatry? The image that was released to the public of the people dwelling on the island outside of India was a dark hue people who resembled the so-called black people. Because they are uncontacted people, they remain pure. This should confirm that the indigenous dark-skinned people of the world are the original people made in the Most High's image. How can a group of people who came hundreds of years later accomplish everything great that has ever happened in history? They are delusional. It is time that black people wake up from their slumber. Do not allow your enemies to continue to tell your story. Satan creates all kinds of distraction during so-called Black History Month to keep the people from learning about real black history. When the generation that lived during the time of Nimrod, by the way, Nimrod is a Hamite. He descends from Ham's son, Cush. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. The beast system depict Nimrod as a Caucasian. The reason the serpent seed wants Nimrod's legacy, the scriptures describe him as the first mighty man on earth. They cannot accept that Nimrod was a so-called black man. They depict him as a white man to help their delusion. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. Israelites and indigenous people of the world, do not allow the heathens low perception of you determine your value. 
it is because you are a peculiar people that is destined for greatness, they hate you. Low self-esteem people find value in themselves by degrading others to pull themselves up. Do not allow them to include you in their low self-esteem. Value yourself and stand firm in who you are. Their version of history should not have the final say. During the time of Nimrod, the people gathered to build a tower that would reach heaven. The Most High saw how determined the people were to build the tower. The Most High descend on earth and confused the people's language to cease them from building the tower. When the Most High confused the language of the people, he scattered them all over the world. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. The Most High scattered his creation all over the world multiple times. The slave trade did not introduce Africans to other parts of this world. Indigenous black people dwell on those lands well before the colonizers came to steal, kill, and destroy. Christopher Columbus, who is credited for discovering North America and other parts of this world, Columbus found indigenous black people in the new world and everywhere he believed he discovered. If the serpent seed was the backbone to the world, how come everywhere they travel, they found indigenous black people there? You can find indigenous black people living in the most remote places of this world. If their people were the original people of the nations all over the world, how come they cannot find any trace of their ancestors in the most remote places of this world? The colonizers must invade and conquer to take possession of the land they proclaim to be natural descendants of. If their people were the natural inhabitants of this world, there would be no need to conquer land all over the world. In addition, the so-called new world would not be called the new world because their kind would dwell in that region of the world. Israelites, keep in mind the colonizers descend from one part of this world. They fight among themselves to see who would control certain parts of this world. There are maps showing which European nation controlled the African continent. Spain and France fought over who would control the Caribbean islands and other lands in those regions. That is why the indigenous people living in those nations speak either Spanish, French, and English, languages spoken by European invaders. Israelites, the reason the invaders find indigenous black people all over the world, the Most High scattered his people all over the world when he confused their language during the time of Nimrod. The indigenous people have been exploring the world long before the colonizers came. The Most High distributed land to Noah's sons. Once Sham, Ham, and Japheth received their inheritance, the Most High charged them to fill the earth. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. Over time, the indigenous people multiplied to fill the earth. While the indigenous people were multiplying, an infiltration took place that introduced a new species of people to the world. These people conquered and invaded the earth, robbing the indigenous people of the dominion the Most High gave to his people. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. To learn more about who the sons of gods are, read the book of Jubilees in Enoch. There are wonderful supporting scriptures that will help you understand the identity of the people who infiltrate the earth. Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. All three of Noah's sons were indigenous black men. Shem's bloodline is the most coveted bloodline. The reason Shem's bloodline is coveted, the covenant promise was made to Shem's descendants, the Israelites. Satan used the promises made to the chosen people as the foundation for religion. The kingdom of darkness need to claim Shem's bloodline to deceive the world with the counterfeit chosen people. The kingdom of darkness used the synagogue of Satan to separate a group of tares as the heir to the Israelite bloodline. Remember, Israelites, we live in a world that is duality. The Most High has a chosen group of people. Satan has a chosen group of people. 
Anything the Most High does, Satan will imitate to deceive the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Remember I said, imitation is not flattery, but destruction. The serpent seed has taken the identity of the Israelites. Not only have they stolen the chosen people's heritage, they changed the name from Israelite to Jew and Israeli. The serpent seed have been naming and claiming for years. The indigenous people name has changed multiple times over the years. Even the present name of the continents are not the original names. The Most High always name a bloodline after the father or progenitor of the bloodline. The name Jew and Israeli are not spoken of in the scriptures. The synagogue of Satan inserted the word Jew into the scriptures to support their claims of being descendants of the Israelites. As for Israeli, you will not find that name in the scriptures. Abraham has six sons that nobody talks about nor claim their bloodline. Then again, Abraham took a wife and her name was Ketra and she bare him Zimran and Jokshan and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shur. When it comes to Jacob's bloodline, everyone believe he or she have claims to the Israelite bloodline, despite knowing they descend from another bloodline. There are other Hebrews and Shemites who claim Jacob's bloodline who are not Israelites. Religion states the Israelites no longer exist. It is now spiritual Israel. Israelites said it's false doctrine. Do not believe in the spiritual Israel lies. How can the imposters claim the Israelite heritage and the people in religion support them? Then turn around and say the Israelites no longer exist, the covenant was fulfilled, and now it is spiritual Israel. Which one is it? Right now, there is a false awakening happening in the imposters' community. The synagogue of Satan wants to imitate the awakening to continue to deceive the whole world. Many delusional chosen tares are professing to believe in the Jewish Messiah. The scriptures must be fulfilled. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The synagogue of Satan bombard my channel with ads to indicate an awakening is taking place in their community. Although Shem has many descendants alive and carrying on his bloodline, we live in a society that has allowed only the imposters to claim Shem's bloodline. The imposters are not descendants of Shem. If you tell the imposters they are not Shemites or an Israelite, they will use the anti-Semite slur to shut you down. Shem descendants are Shemites, not Semites. There is a difference. Remember, duality. Israelites, Shem has many descendants. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old and begat Arthaxad two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arthaxad five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. There are many Shemites living today. The beast system has grouped Shem's descendants into one group of people, just as they have done with the numerous bloodline that populate the earth. The Most High identify his creation according to their bloodline. The beast system identify a person by race. Race is determined by place of birth and skin color. When we discuss the appearance of the ancient people as a dark hue people, we are accused of being racist and spreading hate. However, the system that identify a person's race is determined by skin color. Everyone race in the beast system is called after a color. Black, white, brown, red, and yellow. Black people are called black because to the heathens, the color of their skin is closer to black. The beast system disqualifies black people from the Israelite heritage and anything significant that occur in history because of the color of their skin and geographical locations. Never mind that indigenous black people live in every land on this earth. The people who control the beast system always depict an indigenous person as white regardless of their bloodline. The Messiah, the Most High, Abraham, Sarah, and all the Bible characters are dark indigenous black people. The beast system transformed them into white people. How come the beast system does not portray them as they are? Skin color plays a significant part in the beast system and history. We live in a colorist society. 
if the world recognized that the Israelites are black and Mizraim, Egypt, is black, a major shift would take place. The imposters who claim the identity and history of the Israelites in Mizraim would have to give up what they have stolen in their privilege. They will hang on to the lie until they die. Israelites, no amount of history is going to convince the delusional heathens and the serpent seed of truth. They are like their father. The truth is not in them. The truth will never take root in them. The truth is not meant to take root in them. The Most High made vessels for honor and some for dishonor. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? In order to fulfill prophecy, the villain role must be filled. Not everyone is going to be saved. Shem inherited the part of the earth that was neither hot nor cold. The Book of Jubilee will give you more precepts on Shem's land inheritance. The people who claim Shem's bloodline and the Israelite heritage come from a region that is cold. Japheth inherited the part of the world that is cold. Ham inherited the part of the world that is hot. The Middle East and North Africa are one of the hottest places on earth. How could the serpent seed hang on to the Israelite heritage when geographically and scripturally their contribution to history do not align? Remember, skin color and place of birth determine your race in the beast system. Shem descendants inherited the part of the world that is neither hot nor cold but warm weather. The Israelites spent a lot of time in the land of Ham. The Israelites did not spend time in Europe. Somehow the pale-skinned people who claim Shem's bloodline migrated from a region that is cold. These people are portrayed as the chosen people as well as the face to all nations. The history given to us by the synagogue of Satan does not correspond with history that support the words of the Most High. Shem's descendants are alive and multiplying until this day. Within the Shemites' bloodline are many other bloodlines, including the Israelite bloodline. The same goes for Ham and Japheth's bloodline. History will correct itself over time. Israelites, you must take the necessary steps to learn about your history before slavery. The beast system is not going to tell you who you are. Do not depend on the very people the kingdom of darkness uses to oppress you. History in their perspective will always place you at the bottom and them on top. Your redemption is near. Israelites, trust in the Most High with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge the Most High and he will direct your path. You are Shemites that descend from Jacob, the progenitor of the Israelite bloodline. Know who you are. Do not wait on the heathens Black History Month to discover your history. The Most High is revealing what was once sealed. It is time to open your ears to hear. I wait for the Lord. My soul doth wait, and in his word do I hope. My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities.